Hi, welcome to Mom Talk. I'm Andrea. And I'm Beth. And Andrea and I are moms who work at smartsocial.com. And we wanted to join you real quick today, just letting you know that we always want to hear from you. Please, if you have any questions or things that you want to hear about or read about, we want to do the research and find out all of the good information and share it with you. Absolutely. And we say you, so we're assuming these are mostly parents and educators listening and watching our podcast, but we also want to hear from students as well. So if your students have some experiences with social media, with online activities, anything that relates to our mission here at smartsocial.com, we want to hear from them as well. So there's a couple of ways for students to get involved with us. Number one is you can just go to smartsocial.com slash contact and fill out the form there and let us know that you have a social media or an online story that you want to share from everybody else. And once we get that form, Josh or Andrea or I will reach out to you if we feel like your story could help others learn about those tips and about your experience. So the other opportunity that we have is kind of a long term opportunity for students with our smart social student advisors program. We have a really great handful of students who we communicate with every single month, either through live Zooms or just through some simple Google surveys of hearing their advice and their thoughts about the different apps that we cover, especially the big ones that our live events focus on. You can go to our website, smartsocial.com and just search for advisors to get information about what that program entails, what we're looking for, what we want those advisors to do for us every month, and really what those students can get out of that program that can really help build their confidence, build their own skills with social media and help to develop something that really will contribute to your portfolio and helping other students along the way. That's right. And we love being able to add student perspectives to our resources. It really means more to us and to all the parents that are coming to us for advice and for information if we can put a student's perspective in. Yeah, absolutely. I think our role for Mom Talk is to help parents from the parent perspective. So bringing in students, we're helping students from their peer perspective of other students. So there's just so many different ways. Students, if you're looking for a way to volunteer, if you have a scout project, a volunteer group that you're working with at school, or you just want something to add to your portfolio to show that you are contributing in a positive way to your community and your own personal experiences, smartsocial.com is very willing to work with any student that is interested. All right, so we hope to hear from you. You can reach out to us again, smartsocial.com slash contact is the best way to reach out to us. Tell us you have a story you want to share and you'll hear back from us if it's something that we think will help other people. All right, thank you so much and we hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you for listening to the smartsocial.com podcast with this week's topics from Beth and Andrea. If you enjoyed the mom talk discussion that we had today, about all things social media from a mom's perspective, we invite you to join the smartsocial.com VIP program. As a very informed parent VIP member, you will learn about the dangers and benefits of social media for your kids and get tips every week to keep your family safe online and most importantly, to teach your students how to shine online. We have over 130 detailed app guides that cover apps like TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and 100 plus apps you might not have heard of, but your students may have visited or downloaded. Find out more and join today at smartsocial.com slash VIP. Please remember to rate, subscribe, and review so we can continue to help more parents and educators just like you. I'm your host, Josh Oaks. As always, remember to keep it light, bright, and polite. We'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day.